This is How to Play Burning Love by Elvis Presley. At the time of filming, there's a new Elvis movie going to be coming out, a new Elvis biopic starring Tom Hanks. It looks really good from the trailers. I'm certainly going to see it. So I thought I'd do a few Elvis songs. Let me know your favourites in the comments. And also we have another top 10 Elvis songs with easy, like three chord easy songs. Um, so definitely check that video out as well if you like this. But here's How to Play Burning Love. So Burning Love starts with this guitar riff, which is a blues riff. Like, as used in Johnny Be Good and countless other blues and rock and roll songs. This is a D power chord with the open string four, second fret on string three. And the third finger, or the little finger, entirely up to you, goes down at the fourth fret in a pattern of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we just loop that for the intro. Always a good idea to keep that forearm still, but still kind of loose. And just do small little strums with a little downward motion. But no tension. And then you should be able to get it with a little bit of practice. A little bit more up to speed, up to the speed of the original recording, but you can only do that when you're loose with the wrist. So no tension and just doing that motion. If you need more help with that riff, you can learn it just here. I will add that as a card. I'll link to it in the description below as well. But the chords for the bulk of the song are a D major chord, G major, A major, which we have a few options of, and also B minor, which we also have more options than just the bar chord way. And I'll show you one of those straight away, which is this. If you can't play a bar chord yet, because you're a beginner and you've not got to that level yet, or you can't make this change, because it is a quick change to this B minor, go for this, which is a B minor seven. That chord enables you to play a B minor in pretty much any song that you will ever C a B minor in, especially when we're, when we're in the key of D, as is the case here. So that B minor is a B minor seven. One, two, three. That's your get out of jail, get out of jail. <laughs> three, get out of jail. That's your get out of jail J B minor chord. Really handy. In the verses, it's a D major chord, G major, A major, and D. For example, Lord Almighty. I feel my temperature rising. I'll link to a chord sheet on my website and also in the uh, description of the video where this embedded, uh, well, this is on YouTube. Higher and higher, it's burning through to my soul. And if we were to strum on the beat for this, it's a whole bar of D, one, two, three, four, two beats of G, two beats of A. One, two, three, four, and then two bars of the D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Poor example. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. Higher and higher. It's burning through to my soul. Two, three, four. One, two. Stays on the D. Girl, girl, girl. You're gonna set me on fire. One, two, three, repeat. My brains are flaming. I don't know which way to go. And then, as you're probably aware, and if you're not aware, have a listen to the original song. We can't play this well unless you know the original song and how it goes, because we're following the lyrics. But if you're aware, we go to the chorus next, and that's where we have this B minor chord. Let me give you a demo of how I would play this, first of all. B minor. A major and G major. We do that three times. Before you panic too much, we can do, of course, this B minor, in which case I would change to this A. 
the standard three fingers in a line and the middle finger doesn't move. That's option one, very beginner friendly. Doing this, B minor to an A to a G. Intermediate option, B minor. I would do a one finger A major here. Because the first finger's there already, move it down a little bit. We have to change the technique a little because we have to pinch like this and stick this part of your middle finger out or your first finger out, kind of like that. So it's from straight to bar and this. And whenever we do this, by the way, that's called barring. I'm not saying bar like, like I want to go to the bar. It's bar. Even this is called barring. We're just holding down more than one string with the first finger or indeed any finger. And then G like this or like this. Totally fine. You choose your option. We can also use the first finger A chord in the verse which I like to do as well. And what this does, as soon as you're used to doing it, it means that we're not holding that first finger down on its tip all the time. So if your fingertips kind of burn when you're looking, burn, 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 when you're looking at a song like this, the one finger A chord enables you to save all your fingertips and just give them a little bit of rest bite in what can be a long three and a half minutes playing some songs if you're holding them down all the time. So back to that chorus, it's B minor for two beats, A major for two beats, G major for a whole bar, repeated three times, and then briefly to an A major and finishing on D. Let me give you a, a run through of that. Two, three, four. Kisses lift me higher. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Beginner option. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then briefly to the A, burning low. One more time, join in with me this time, because and I'll go really slow, because I know this is the bit where a lot of people are going to trip up on. We'll do it, we'll get through this. Just slow it down. Two, three, four. B minor, A major, G, two, three, four. The sweet song of a choir. You light my morning sky, A major. Burning love. All right, let's look at some strumming options because this is a up to tempo. Ow, I hurt my hand. This is an up to tempo song, so don't hurt yourself. <laughs> uh, so what? Uh, let me do something a bit different with you guys here because we start with this riff. I'm just going to get you to do and recommend that you go for a down and up strumming pattern in an eighth motion. One and two and three and four and. So the only thing that's going to make this sound good and give it some rhythm is an accent. And we're going to do the first two quiet, and then we're going to do two louder. And that um, third one, one, two, three, four, we're going to accent on the three. But just do the others quieter. That's going to sound like this. Oh, without, without the accent, it sounds like this. Not, not great. No, like, it's fine if that's where you're at, but let's try if you can do this. Hear the difference? I was actually playing pretty loud then. This will probably sound better if I just take it all down a notch, but still play fast. Just I'm, What I'm going to do is be a bit shallow in the pick, really shallow to the string. See what impact that has. Okay, feel the difference without it? It's a bit it's a bit aggro that one, isn't it? It doesn't sound as good and it's not got that movement to it. So one and two and three and four and. Really great way to practice this. Mute your strings and do a, that down and up motion, but think of it as a drum pattern. Boom boom da dum boom boom ba dum boom boom da. And just do that on your strings, but make sure you can hear the rhythm, hear a drum pattern from your strings. And think of the song. Mighty, I feel my temperature rise and bap, boom, 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 bap, boom, 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 bap. Think of a drummer hitting the toms and then hitting that snare drum. Boom, boom, da, boom, 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 da. Um, same thing. 
and that's always going in the background. Because the alternative to that is we literally do the most common strutting pan ever. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And every song you do kind of sounds the same. This one, think of the rhythm of it, think of that drummer. Boom, boom, ba, boom, boom. So hitting fewer strings or just the thicker strings, and then everything nice and loud on that uh, kind of beat two. One, and two, three, and four, and one, and two. A really great exercise is if this is what you really want to nail, do that along to the original recording. Stick it on, bum bum ba bum 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 ba bum bum ba. Play along to it just like that. Because adding the chords to it now, if you've never done it before, oh, it can go wrong. Be patient with it. It's all good. We're trying to get these two hands working together, and we're going to do it like this. Demo first of all in the verse. One, two, and three. Now that we're lifting off, um, the trick here is to lift off a little bit early. Two and three and four lift. Lift early and you'll make it. Let me give you a demo of the verse in a one, two, three, four. Lord Almighty, I feel my temperature rise. Higher and higher, G and an A. Example with the chorus. A bit slower. All right, we're going to go for broke. If you need to practice anything that we've covered there, rewind to that part of the bit. Rewind. Press rewind. Hold down the rewind button on your VCR. Um, and just watch the bit that you need and then take the time to practice that. You're not expected to get these songs in the length of the video. It takes a bit of work if you've not got that skill yet. It's easy when you know how. It's like ringing a bell. We'll start with that riff and we're going to do, hang on, let me think about And then D, so that long. Mm, sounded like 16 bars to me, but I'll count you in. Join in with me with that riff. We'll go nice and slow. Try and keep up. <laughs> what's, the, what's the Johnny Big Good quote? <laughs> Try and keep up, okay. Okay. One, two, three, riff. Two, one, two, three, four. Lord Almighty, I feel my temperature rising. Two and three and four and higher and higher. It's burning through to my soul Girl, girl, girl You're gonna set me on fire My brain is flaming I don't know which way to go Chorus in One, two, three Easy version Your kisses left me higher Like the sweet song of a choir Light my morning sky with your burning love. Keep playing. Keep playing. Two, three, four. Help me, I'm flaming. Must be a hundred and nine. Me. I just might turn into smoke, but I feel fine. Chorus one, two, three. Your kisses lift me higher, like the sweet song of a choir. You light my morning sky with burning love. Chorus again for the solo.
sped up a little bit then, sorry. If you've lost it, join in again on a D chord. One, two, three, four. It's coming closer. The flames are now licking my body. Go on, Elvis. Won't you help me? I feel like I'm slipping away. It's hard to breathe. My chest is a fever. I'm burning a hole where I lay Chorus in one, two, three Your kisses lift me higher Like the sweet song of a choir You light my morning sky With burn love Alright, let's go for the ending now Wait till my auto-scroll auto gets to there Damn you, ultimate guitar, come on it's got to be a little hunk of hunk of burning love. It's just D to G. One, two, three, four, G. And just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. Two, three, four, hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning. And it on the D. Three, four. There we go. That is Burning Love by Elvis Presley. I hope you really enjoyed that. If you need to work on anything, you can work on those skills individually. And I'll show you exactly how to do that at andyguitar.co.uk. Uh, primarily in my beginners course. And then the B minor stuff is improver course. So check out those. If you're at a late beginner, early intermediate stage, that improver course would be where I would send you. We've got some play along tracks in there as well. So that should really help you. I hope to see you over there or in another video on my Andy Guitar YouTube channel.